I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, and all that, all that good stuff. Uh, we're gonna get straight to it. Let me pull this contract up. So, um, uh, I finally read through a contract, you know? Let me get to it. Mm, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Here it go. So, I finally read this contract. And I got a highlighted part. Let me try to put it on here so, so y'all can see it. Um, let's read this, let's read this paragraph, bro. I'm going to listen. I'm going to get to all the questions. I'm going to get to all the questions. You know what I'm saying? I got the contract. I'm going to get to all the questions. We're going to answer all the questions. Everybody going to get heard. Everybody can get, you know, whatever on here. But let me read this to y'all right quick and let's get to it. So y'all got to give me a second. The comments come on here fast. So anyway, let's get to it. So this is. Eugene Henley, <laughs> a.k.a. Big U, a.k.a. David Austin, okay? It's so much stuff we could talk about, but let's just do what we're talking about, okay? So, the contractor will ensure that the community intervention workers utilize their BlackBerry devices to receive and respond to RACR notifications and in communicating with law enforcement, mayor staff, and other relevant entities. CIWs will serve as first responders for all gang-related incidents in their designated grid zone or area that may impact their designated grid their designated grid zone. Okay? Now, we're going to go to the second paragraph. This is the part I like because it's like, then we're talking about this part. <laughs> okay, this is screenshot it right quick and then we can read it. I'm going to read it off to you too. Okay? I'm going to tell you why we care so much. Hold on. Just screenshot this so y'all get it. Okay. Uh, number three. <laughs> Contractors shall maintain a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week schedule to respond to calls regarding gang violence, confrontations, such as shootings, aggravated assaults, homicides, and other violent incidents. Within 15 minutes after receiving notification via BlackBerry, make sure y'all reading this. Screenshot it again. <laughs> receiving a notification via BlackBerry from the L Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, Real-Time Analysis and Critical Response Division. Okay, y'all got to make sure y'all read this and screenshot it, okay? So, this ain't no how they was lying, trying to say something else about this, no. You have to be on call 24 hours, okay? Now, taking it a bit further, okay? Uh, he had this contract <laughs> for 10 years, right? Now, I talked to somebody who knows someone who works for the LAPD and is very familiar with these programs. Now, first, before I get into them talking to them about how you get a raise and how you continue your contract, let me give you my insight on it, right? If I was like on some hood stuff and I was to say, hey man, the police got some bread for us. If we some street dudes, we like, you know what? Let's just work them, bro. You know, we hate the police. We bumped the song. Fuck the police, right? Let's just say that, right? And then you say, well, let's work them. They got a bag for us. They gonna give us a contract. Let's just sign it and get the money. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? That would be, you know, kind of understood, right? But that's not the case. So not only they got a renewal, they got a raise, okay? So, now go back to what I just said before I said that about how I thought, you know, somebody would do. They say for them to get a renewal, let alone a raise, you had to be doing a whole lot of good work. 
<laughs> you know, to get a renewal and a raise. Because if it was just a lick, hey, we're going to sign the program, get the money, oh, it's a quick, right? we split it out. If it was a lick, that's a different story. You wouldn't have got a raise, you wouldn't have got renewed. So it's just crazy that this dude is out here. Imagine this, right? Y'all here trying to act like, yeah, I'm, I'm such and such and such. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do right. What's up? What's up, cuz? You know what I'm saying? And then you take your BlackBerry phone and you leave these people you were just with, and then you go call the police on them. You know? You go answer the phone for the LAPD and tell them, uh, yeah, the one, two, three gang just came through on the four, five, six gang. <laughs> that was the one, two, threes who did the gang thing on the pop, pop on the four, five, sixes. You know, because last week, you know, uh, a one, two, three got caught slipping in the four, five, sixes in the club, and it was a big fight, and it was a shooting, and it's been going back and forth with the one, two, threes and the four, five, sixes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, for a while. So, well, this is this is not honorary, you know what I'm saying, to a street dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's crazy that you would even put yourself in that position, you know what I'm saying, and play a dangerous game and hang out and try to be cool with the street dudes, Knowing you got an LAPD phone and you have to report all these incidents gang related to the LAPD. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So this is what's going on though, bro. You know what I'm saying? They got a signature and everything on here, man. I'm gonna do it again so y'all can screenshot it, bro. You know. Y'all make sure y'all y'all check it out. Let me do this again. So y'all can see it. So it's definitely real. Uh, Big U definitely has a contract with the LAPD. Uh, he definitely keeps a BlackBerry phone on 24 hour uh, accessible <laughs> to the LAPD. You know what I'm saying? But let's see, we're not even talking about, you know what I'm saying, he on paperwork. Man, I want to tell y'all something, too. Man, I should have never went to go work for Eddie, man. I should have never did it. I shouldn't have did it. That's on something else. And we're not even going to talk about who said this quote. Gunner ain't told on nobody. Ain't no paperwork on him. Ain't no paperwork on Gunner. <laughs> but listen, though, I wanted y'all to see that we saw the actual contract. And everybody, like I said, it's been going around for about, you know, a year now about the contract and this, that, and the other, but a lot of people have been quiet. A lot of people have been quiet about it. You know, even people he know ain't been saying nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why y'all haven't said nothing about this. So now, like I be telling y'all, it don't just affect him because obviously he don't even care. He don't care about his legacy. He don't care about his name in the streets. He don't care about none of that. For him to go on record and defend Gunner when the whole world know what Gunner did and him to say Gunner ain't telling nobody and for him to say ain't no paperwork on Gunner, that let you know he don't even care. You know what I'm saying? For him to go and have a celebrity basketball game at Crenshaw High School in the midst of all this and invite a sex offender and a rat to his game and have his homies at the game taking pictures. He don't care about himself. He don't care about what people think about him in the street. What I'm trying to tell y'all is this. He's affecting everybody around him. Okay? This is what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to see that. I want y'all to know we read the contract. Big U is a rat. You know what I'm saying? That's it's no way around that. It's no way around that. Okay. Y'all make sure y'all get this to him. And he got an answer to this shit, you know what I'm saying? He got an answer to all this stuff now because I'm getting a lot of calls. <laughs> getting a lot of calls, you know what I'm saying? It's uh it's 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 over with for him, you know what I'm saying? His whole career is over with. And another thing, let me explain something to y'all too. Y'all probably wonder, why is she's the only one seeing something? Okay, let me explain something to you. It's like a mutual respect thing for the section. So other sections Communities, gangs, whatever you want to call them, they kind of can say, well, you know, that's six old business. You know what I'm saying? They kind of can really say that because, you know, they, a lot of people got their own issues. You know what I'm saying? So people don't really want to be like, you know, overstepping everything and jumping that when it's people over here who can say something about it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to say something about it. Use a rap. So go on live, 
Go back to your TV show, how you was on there. Don't try to act like you ain't no internet dude now, because you had your own little podcast. You was on live talking about Gunner, he ain't told. Let's you talk about this LAPD contract, or we don't want to hear nothing else. Talk about that LAPD contract. Talk about your name on that paperwork. Okay, we want you to talk about that. We don't want to hear nothing else about Gunna and everybody else, bro. Topic at hand. We read your contract. That ain't cool for the streets. Anyone condoning that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we don't know what to say about y'all. But I want y'all to see that, you know what I'm saying? We read it and put it up again so y'all can see it. You know what I mean? It's official. So them dudes on, online... They mustn't have as much as a reach as I have. We've got 185 people in here. We mustn't have a much enough reach. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why, but we got it, man. So, yeah, we got it, bro. Oh, yeah, we got, man, 1,000 questions. So, I, I gave y'all my word. We're going to answer these questions. I didn't, uh... I didn't really answer the question, but we're going to do it. Anyway, uh, let's, you know what? It's just so many questions, questions, questions. We got to start over, man. <laughs> we got to start over. Damn, they all came in. I got to, we got to start it over, bro. Oh, yeah. And we got to start over. So listen, this is what we're going to do. I can't read all these. I can't read all these. It's too many. Let's start from the bottom. Okay. <laughs> Come to New Zealand, Uso. What's up with it? What's up, Us? What's the dilly? Uh, who's the clown? Who 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 you calling the clown, boy? You calling somebody a clown? Who you talking to? Sleaze boss, so your knuckles ain't scarred up enough. Are they? Hmm? <laughs> What you talking about, man? You say you're a clown, I'm a clown, huh? You say come to the backyard, you say no. Where your paperwork? Eddie Kane says 600 looking weak and spiteful. I'm looking weak like what, bro? What's up with it, man? How I'm looking weak, bro? Because I'm, I'm reading I'm, I'm reading a man's a, a, a contract. How, how I look weak? I ain't on the motherfucking contract, nigga. <laughs> I don't look weak, nigga. I'm not on the motherfucking paperwork, nigga. You ain't found my paperwork on nothing. How I look weak. Oh, oh, Monte from the IE? Nah, I ain't been there yet, bro. I rolled the second free shit. Go get the chili cheese fries on live no more. Man, what the hell you talking about, boy? Why you ain't going to the backyard? What backyard, boy? Easter deal, 7-6. What's up, Shaq boy? What's up with it? Attention seeking, he paying. Oh man, what is this dude talking about? OKC to LA. Shout out to Gangland, OKC. I've been out there, nigga. I was out there, nigga, 06. Yeah, I fuck with OKC. <laughs> he said you might not make it the next year. Well, will, will you be here about next year? Or what? Cloud Chaser. Where you from, Rat or Defender? You're cut. Oh man, what are y'all be talking about, man? Let's see if you read it back. Bro, listen, we already read that, bro. That was all that was all fake, man. Y'all putting fake, y'all putting fake stuff out here. He said another emotional light skinned. Oh man, shut up. You talking about light skin dark. You talking about light skin, dark skin, bro. What you talking about? Get a sealed document. Listen, whoever Adam is, right? Go on Google, type in California Criminal Record Relief. You'll get all your answers, bro. You too big for all this 600 for real. Yeah, I might be a little too big for it, but when a motherfucker got a lie on my name and hope to put my name in danger by spreading lies, this is what you get back. I'm not no buster. I'm not scared of nobody, bro. So I'm going to say what I want and say what I feel. You might have some little kids food. You might have somebody food, you know what I'm saying, who from another state, you know what I'm saying, or another country. You ain't got me food, bro. You ain't, you ain't never put no real work in. So ain't nobody scared of, uh, of nothing from a story you told somebody 30 years ago. You got to show me, bro. Oh, yeah. I don't care nothing about that. <laughs> he said, you might not make it the next year. 
Well, we hope you do make it to next year, man. King Eric, you probably 600. What's up, bro? I'm rolling. Head to the backyard, handle your issues, quit yapping. Man, shut up, man. You on this motherfucker, right? We got 208 people on this motherfucker. Uh-huh, yeah, you, you yapping. Justin Kinko, go to California Criminal Record Relief Program. You get all your answers. Marcus say no rats for surely, bro. <laughs> he said you started banging in your 20s. You bogus as F-U-K. <laughs> you funny. He would laugh first, laugh last. He said you be wearing wires. Hey, I keep talking, man. Where's your paperwork, Mr. Lovejoy? What paperwork? <laughs> 600 exposing the rats and the rats getting offended by it. Yeah, they're getting offended by it, bro. I don't know. I don't, that's what I'm saying, though. I don't know why they're getting offended by it when y'all are told. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they say people water stuff down. Motherfucker, you told, man. You on contract with LAPD. You on live talking about gun ain't told nobody. Yank Ma, where you from, man? Schoolyard? I got, I got some niggas over there, man. Yeah, I got some people over there. Shout out to the schoolyards. You took pictures with the police who locked my nephew up. What what that mean? Who, who, who what that mean? Let me explain something to y'all while we're on the subject. And y'all know I don't duck no wreck, no smoke, no questions. I am a professional athlete, okay? I have a business in my neighborhood, a boxing gym, okay? So when I see two, three police cars outside my gym, I'm going to come out. I'm not like, oh, lock the door. <laughs> Fuck the police. I'm not saying none of that. Like, listen, man, what's up with y'all, bro? What's up, man? What's going on, man? I want to thank y'all for your service, man. Because if somebody break in my gym, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get insurance. I'm going to get I'm, I'm, I'm going to get cashed out. But I got to make the report. You know what I'm saying? I got to make the report. You know what I'm saying? Say, hey, listen, uh, LAPD, yeah, we're on 7407 Crenshaw Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90043. We had a break in. Uh, it's been vandalism, <laughs> probably $100,000 worth of damage. Let me call my insurance Prime America. Hey, listen, uh, we've had a break-in. Uh, it's probably $100,000 in damage. Uh, when are you going to cash me out? Oh, we're going to bring an adjuster out and, you know, uh, adjust everything for your claim. <laughs> $100,000. I mean, so, we, 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 you know, I, the police ain't, ain't the enemy. You know what I'm saying? They're not the enemy. You know what I'm saying? So, when I see them, I embrace them. What's up, man? Let's take a picture. You know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? What's up, man? See, I don't have... A problem with the police, and this is why I told you about big about big you. Like, no one is going to care if he has a problem with the LAPD. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? There's no retirement for a gang member. So if you want to go be a LAPD, that's fine. His problem is when he's trying to have one foot in and one foot out. You know what I'm saying? That's where the problem is. You're trying to act like you hood and politic and speak on certain things when you work for the LAPD. Just embrace that, bro. Go about your business, huh?